Hello, uh, my name is Turtle Bunbury. I co-founded the Vanishing Ireland Facebook group and it is wonderful to see so much interaction between you all on a regular basis. Uh, a number of you have asked me about my new book and I'm delighted to say that it launched today. Um, it is The Irish Diaspora, Tales of Emigration, Exile and Imperialism. Um, and uh, I was just gonna show you a very quick slideshow of some of the highlights from the book. Um, it covers about, uh, well, there's 42 chapters uh, and it covers uh, something in the region of 1500 years. Um, I kick off with the stories of the first Irish missionaries who are bringing in uh, Christianity into Europe and indeed to Iceland. Uh, and indeed, in fact, to the Mongol Empire. I go there with a guy called Jacobo of Ireland uh, about 700 years ago. Um, I tell the tale of the Wexford man who inspired the legends of Zorro. Um, Hercules Mulligan, who could resist that name? The man who saved George Washington's life twice. Uh, I look at the man, the Irishman from Kilkenny, who built the White House uh, and the Irish ancestry of 21 uh, of the US presidents, uh, good and bad, from Andrew Jackson through to Joe Biden. Uh, I tackle the Irish in the British Empire uh, who prospered as slave traders, as soldiers, as missionaries, uh, as surgeons, and the Donegal man who founded the Gurkhas. Um, who can resist the tale of Bernardo O'Higgins, uh, another glorious name, uh, and his Monaghan pal Juan McKenna, who won independence for Chile a little over 200 years ago. Um, Eliza Lynch, the First Lady of Paraguay from Cork, uh, Nellie Cashman, another Cork woman um, who knew Wyatt Earp and the OK Corral. Uh, I write about the Clare man who invented a submarine uh, and Louis Brennan, uh, the Mayo man who invented the torpedo. Uh, we go to Limerick for uh, the lady who was the governess to the Tsar of Russia's ill-fated daughters, the brothers from Meath who have three stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, and in more recent times, I look at the Dublin woman who tried to, uh, to kill Mussolini, uh, the Galway man who became the voice of Hitler's Germany, and the tearaway from Tipperary who became Winston Churchill's right-hand man. These are but some of the stories uh, told in the Irish diaspora. Uh, it was written during a lockdown here in the Irish countryside in County Carlo, published by the good people of Thames and Hudson and available from all good bookshops uh, now and, and online bookshops too, of course. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy piecing it all together. Um, and if you do enjoy it, please uh, give it a good review and spread the word. In the meantime, thank you. And I'm, as I say, I'm thrilled uh, to have so many of you in, in the Vanishing Ireland Facebook group. Happy St. Patrick's Day.